Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Jenna. And today I have a little bit different of a video than what we are used to here on my channel. I am doing a DIY with some pieces that I picked up from Walmart. So I was really excited to share these with you guys. One, because they were so affordable. And two, I have been seeing these on so many different online websites and really just being some trendy pieces for summer 2020. I have stuck with more of an athleisure look, but these definitely can be styled in so many different ways so in this video I'm going to be showing you what I found at Walmart how I've kind of made it my own and then how I'm going to be styling it for this summer I actually found everything in store but I've also linked everything down below in case you guys don't want to go into store and want to make a purchase off of their website so other than that I'm just gonna get right into the video thank you guys so much for watching and without further ado let's get into it alright so this first piece is this little white tank top and it has some spaghetti straps on it and I got this in the color white because I wanted to stick with more neutrals just for this shirt in particular but it came with a lot of different colors and I got it in a size large just because it was in the white but I probably could have used a medium or a small just for a size reference for you guys. I started off by cutting this a little bit but then ended up cutting it a little bit more. It really depends on the piece and what I do with it and it's just up to you guys with what you want to do with it. Obviously, you don't have to cut it the same way that I am. A lot of these pieces could be worn without even cropping them but I thought it would be fun to do a little something to them. This next piece is probably my favorite piece. I thought that I was not really going to like this shirt and it ended up being my favorite with the crop. I knew I wanted to wear a bralette underneath it so I cut it a little shorter and it was actually the perfect length. I could still wear just a normal bra and you wouldn't be able to see it. But this is kind of mocking those muscle shirts that are pretty popular right now. This just has a little pocket and a v-neck which I think is super different. And I just paired this with some ripped jeans, but you guys could also wear this with just a pair of sweatpants or sweat shorts in the summer, really whatever you're looking for. So next shirt is this white tank and I cropped it to meet where my pants go. And this one has a little bit thicker of a strap as you guys can tell. And I actually like this one so much that I picked it up in gray and black which you guys will see. But I thought this would be the perfect thing just to throw on with some sweat shorts, sweat pants, even just some jean shorts. It's very casual but can be dressed up, dressed down, however you guys want to wear it. Next is that same shirt but in gray and I've really been loving gray. You guys know I'm always in it. So I figured picking up a tank top wouldn't hurt and I went for a monochromatic look in the pictures that I took with this on but you could really wear it with anything like that first one. Again, I just cropped this one right above where my pants would lay so there's a little bit of a crop to it but not too much for me. So here it is in that black and I actually kept it full length because when I tried it on when I got home you guys it felt like a bodysuit and I've been wearing it under sweatpants, jean shorts, really however I want and it feels and looks like a bodysuit but without the wedgie. So I'm really happy with how this is. It fits super nicely but is not like skin tight if you guys know what I mean. All right, so next thing that I got is this fun pinky coral shirt, and this is actually a men's shirt in a size medium. And I just cropped this a little bit, as you guys will be able to tell in the video a little bit better. They're that boxy tee look that is super trendy right now, but they're super flattering on. They don't make you look like a square. <laughs> um, but I've actually seen some shirts like this on some online stores that I've ordered, and they are so similar. So I highly recommend just grabbing some men's shirts and cropping them to your liking. I also like like that factor is I can really crop this to wherever I personally want it to be so I hope you guys can do the same. And then again I did this with a gray shirt this one is a little bit different so I've linked both of them down below but this one just has a pocket and I thought this gray color was super fun it's not your typical gray so it's not like you'd be wearing gray on gray if you paired this with a pair of like gray sweatpants even but I've already worn this. I have a stain on it if you guys can't tell. But this is again a men's shirt. I got this in a size small and it fits great. But there are two different fits between this one and that corally one. So I got that one in a medium and this one in small. 
Next piece is just this big oversized black t-shirt that I got from the men's section as well and I got it in an XL. So this is what this looks like. I've been pairing this with biker shorts. I love oversized shirts when I'm wearing biker shorts just like to cover my waist but still show that I'm wearing some shorts underneath. So this was the perfect one. I know they had these in a bunch of colors as well. So if you guys are interested in that look, I highly recommend. I didn't have to do anything to this shirt. So it's perfect just to pick up and wear. Moving away from tops, I actually got two pairs of sweat shorts, which are super trendy as well for athleisure this summer. They're actually men's shorts that I cut, and I got these in a size small, and the waist fits really well, but it is a little small in my legs, like around my thighs, so you guys will probably have to try these on and see what works best for you. I got another pair in a size medium, and they're like way too big, so, so the fit of these is a little different than those. Obviously, it's a different kind. I really love the band on these. I thought the two-tone gray looked really cool so I paired this with that gray tank top that I was talking about before. You guys can cut these to your own length which I really love because I am a tall person so I feel like some shorts or skirts might not always fit me the same way as other people so I like that I could control the length of these. And then lastly, I just got these black shorts, and again, I cut these. They look exactly like the shorts that I found from Boohoo, but they are just a little big, so you guys will have to play around with the style. I love how I cut these. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it like kind of goes down into the middle part of them, which I really liked. But again, I can get away with them just because it's black and you can't see how much they are cinched, but they also had these in a bunch of different colors. And I was looking for a pair of sweatpants in store, but they just weren't selling sweatpants right now. I'm pretty Pretty sure it's just because of the warmer weather but they had a lot online so I'm gonna link a couple down below for you guys just to help you out I've been wanting to try cutting some actual sweatpants into sweatshorts but again these are just men's sweatshorts but just cutting them into a more like I don't know feminine length if you will But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you guys go check out some of these pieces because I have been wearing mine nonstop. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are interested in any of these pieces, check out those links down below like I said.